All right, I think I just found a coin. Awesome. Alright guys, first hole of 2018 and I think I've got a good one. I just turned up a bunch of scrap. Looks like it's from World War II. I'm not sure exactly what this was, but it looks like they used it for target practice. It has some type of bowl shape to it. There's more than one piece, I think. Um, two different size round, but I don't know what it would be. Maybe you guys could help me out. There was some thick glass pieces in there as well, which I should be wearing gloves and I forgot them. Uh, here's another piece, looks like more bullet holes, and then this was in there, which got me so excited. I thought it was a coin. Um, it's not a coin, but it's very cool anyway. If this is World War II, it's some type of token or medallion. I'm not sure. It has a pattern here. It looks like three wolves, about the size of a half dollar. What it is, I'm not sure, but next to it, I kept getting more signals over here, and I turned up a bunch of live rounds. So that really tells me that this must be World War II stuff. Uh, again, what it is, I'm not sure, but it is a really cool find. So I cannot wait to get back to the house and research, see what this looks like cleaned up, and see if I can't find out what it is. Wow, what a great start to this trip. All right, this is kind of a cool find. Looks like some type of uh, buckle or strap from a helmet or a boot I'm not sure you can see it's metal on the one side and then it's attached to this leather type strap here uh, what it went to I'm not sure maybe I'll search around this area see if I can't find some more pieces to it but kind of a cool little World War II relic all right let's keep going I turned up another signal and I started pulling up leather straps some type of leather or fabric more another leather strap then we got ourselves a couple more buckles. This part is very interesting as well. Some type of latch or buckle. All right, I think I just found a coin. In fact, I'm pretty sure of it. At first I wasn't, it's really lightweight. It barely feels like anything and it's very thin. But if you look closely, there's writing all around the perimeter and some type of design in the middle. I gotta get this home and clean it up. Wow, I'm shaking, I think I found a coin. Awesome. Ah, good morning. Is this a Schuntal here in Deutschland heute? Uh, yesterday was my first day of metal detecting. We spent the first night in Berlin, took the train down here, um, out into the countryside where my mother-in-law has a little garden house. And I spent about three hours detecting yesterday, and I think I did really well. Um, you'll see what I have here in just a second. I'm uh, again using my Garrett Ace 150 metal detector and my Garrett Carrot pinpointing device. Uh, you can see these are all the pieces that I found yesterday. Most of it was generally in the same area, just right across the street. Um, some of the highlights of the finds are here, as you saw earlier. Um, what I thought looked like to be three wolves on this actually turns out to look more like three owls, and there's a bit of a diamond shape underneath it. Here's the coin that I found. Wow, this was so exciting. I'm not sure how to clean it up. It is aluminum and I don't know what the best method is. We have no internet out here, so I can't research it as of yet, but I will later. So far I've only done a little water and baking soda. I'm a little bit afraid to mess it up or destroy it any further. So I took some photographs with it, got it onto Photoshop and uh, was able to adjust the contrast. And from what we found, it seems to be a 500 mark from Germany and the date is 1923. It's really quite a cool coin. I also have here some some other scraps. These pieces you can tell go together. They have the same stripe design on it. Um, I couldn't figure out what it is. My mother-in-law suggested it might be a landmine. I'm not even sure. Um, there is writing on it. You can see it says T-E-N. It looks like there's a T before that. So T-T-E-N. But if you notice on the E, there's a little diamond shaped on the middle part of the E and it seems to correlate a bit with with the shape on here on this piece um, 
I'm not sure if it is, but they were in the same hole all in one pile, so it seems as if maybe. And also, I just realized these pieces were in the same hole. These, you can see, fit together. And if I were to lift this up a little bit, this pulls right up and fits right in there. Uh, I can't do it now. I've only got the one hand because I'm trying to film here, but yeah, it fits right in there. So I'm not sure what it could be. I start to believe my mother-in-law and think possibly it is a landmine, but um, I won't know until I get on the internet and do a little more research. So I've decided to move to the back of the house, which is located right on this canal. Now this canal is really amazing. It actually dates back to the 1700s, and it was used as a trade route to the river beyond. Now I'm not sure how much of this trail you see here has been filled in since then, but surely to this day, there's plenty of people walking back and forth behind these homes. So I just hit it with my metal detector, at least this section here. I don't have permission from the neighbors yet to do the rest. But I just found a cool coin. Now it's nothing too old, but for me, coming from America, it's very exciting. Now as you know, I hunt here in East Germany, and what I just dug up is an old East German Pfennig. This is the currency they had before the Berlin Wall fell. Wow, really amazing. It's dated 1981. Now this was ringing up as iron, but I decided to dig it anyway. It was giving me a really strong signal. Turns out, it was just this really long nail. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Let's move on to the next. Alright guys, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, I just found another coin. The bad news? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. First, I want to show you where I'm at. You can see just across the street is the house where I'm staying. It's just a small little garden house on the canal. And across the street here begins this forest. Now just in the beginning of this forest is where I hunt all the time. And I have found so many World War II relics. It's just amazing. And so far this trip, I've even found a couple old coins. I think I'm really starting to get the feel of my metal detector. Now let me just bring you over here and I'll show you a little bit more about where I'm hunting. You can see, just recently, since the last time I've been here, they've been coming in here logging, which left this trail open with lots of sand. So it stirred a lot up and it makes it very easy to detect and to dig. So here it is guys, round in the hole. I'm so excited. I just found another coin. The only bad news, it's only half. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming it got caught up in the skids of the skitter and probably broke in half. I searched around the area hoping I could find the rest, but to no avail. Either way, it has some wording on it, and it's a Reicht mark, just like the other coin that I found earlier, except this one is in much cleaner shape. I'm a little disappointed that it's not the whole thing, but man, what a cool find. I also found a couple other items in the last hour. Just an empty shell casing, must be World War II, and then this. I'm not sure if it's World War II or not, maybe older, uh, what it is I don't know. Perhaps by the shape and the design of it, maybe you could help. It almost looks like it was a hinge at one time. Uh, you can see this part is bent over, but it looks like it was hinged. Um, perhaps a latch or decoration or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, either way, so far, as I said earlier, this has been my best trip yet. I have found two and a half coins. Well, that wraps it up for this video, guys. It's only been a day and a half, and I have done so well. Two and a half coins and a bunch of cool World War II relics. The only problem is, today is my third day, and I've been detecting all day and haven't turned up hardly anything. It's been really disappointing. But I still have got about four to five days left of solid metal detecting, so hopefully I'll have enough to put together another, another video for you guys. Also, we've got this canal that I was talking about earlier in the back, and I have a magnet and might try some magnet fishing later. So, if you like the video, please Please take a moment to comment, like, subscribe, whatever you can. It's been fun guys and hopefully I can put together another awesome video for you in the next few days. Thanks for watching.